blessings beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day i hope all is well so i just wanted to come on and share this this quick video uh of what i wasn't reading genesis um i was just kind of giving the account to someone of this story and man the lord just began to reveal things as i um was speaking about it so what i want to talk about is genesis 19 which talks about uh the sh when the angel of the Lord, when the Lord sends the uh, two angels to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, and man, it's a beautiful story. Go through and read it all. Um, and actually, I would read the, the, the story before where angel of the Lord goes to visit Abraham and they're eating, they're communion, they're spending time. And, and the Lord goes back and tell Abraham what he was about to do and, and him and just to see the relationship um, that he had with Abraham to even tell him that he's going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and allows Abraham to kind of, you know, ask, can you, if, if you find five people, if you find 10 people, if you find 20 people, would you not destroy it? And them going back and forth, I thought that was just so interesting because it speaks to God's character, um, and his love for his children, um, because he's the same way with us. Um, he doesn't remember he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So, you know, there's so many times where I've had, you know, the Lord speaking to me about things that uh, were to come. We're having uh, dialogue and conversation. And sometimes, you know, we think God is this, you know, this big being, this big eternal being. And although he is, um, he's still personal. He's still uh, able to come down and be into or uh, be in us and be intimate with us um, and, and talk to us about intimate things. But so Genesis 19, um, 19 and 26, where it says, um, well, if we go up a little bit, um, and I'm not reading it, I'm just kind of paraphrasing. So you go back and read it and what it talks about. Um, so, you know, there, the angel of the Lord gets there and they're about to do their thing. And then, you know, Lot invites them into the house. The men are trying to get in and, and do things to them, you know, trying these angels and, and they, they were just so corrupt. Um, the, the Bible says, um, that, uh, when when God is speaking to or when the Lord is speaking to Abraham, he said, the sin, the cry of the sin is, has come up to me um, and I got to go and deal with it. Paraphrasing, of course, so go back and read it. Um, but he says, you know, the, the, the sin is so great. Um, it just wasn't infectious within uh, the, the, the men and women, but it was in the children. The children was doing the things that they saw their parents do. And when you have sin so uh it, it it's one thing when it's in the 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 men and the women um but then the children can grow up and 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 be good and 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 walk in 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 wisdom and love but they were consumed by sin as well um so god went down to destroy it and he told lot you know get out i'm about to I'm about to destroy it. Um, you got to, you know, take your wife, take all this in your house and go to the next town or go flee to the mountains. Um, and Lot is just kind of, you know, just, oh, okay, God, I, yeah, yeah, okay. And he like, he grabs his hand and he like, he, he pulls him. And he's like, no, like you got to you got to go now, take your family. So they wake up in the morning, they get up and they go and he tell them like, listen, do not look behind you because if you do, um, what is happening here will consume you, but just go forward, go to that next, that next town, go to the next town. Um, because if you don't, you, Hey, you're going to be like these people in Sodom and Gomorrah. And of course we know, we all know the story that, uh, wife's, uh, Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt because she turned around, but what I got from it as I was sharing with someone, what the Lord revealed to me was sometimes that's what happened to us in life. You know, God will deliver us from a situation, from things, um, and we'll look back on what we think is good. Now, sometimes I know, and I've been there where I think, well, God, why wouldn't you just allow it to work in my, work in my favor, work in my, if I'm, but God doesn't work that way. If he's telling you not to go back to something that, that he delivered you from, it's because he knows the end result of what he's telling you to, to stay from. So when, when God spoke to Lot and his family and said, don't turn back, 
lest you be consumed. He had already told them what the end result of you are looking back. And we do it all too often. We do it so many times where the Lord is like, listen, this is this relationship is not for you. This business deal, this job, this, you know, this, this city that you're in, this, this car, it is not, listen, if you don't obey me and listen to what I'm telling you, I'm not telling you this because I want to be a tyrant. I'm telling you this because I want to warn you of what is going to happen if you don't listen to me, if you don't do it, because in everything, there is a consequence for our actions and every decision. God does not force his will upon us, but he gives us free will to choose and do what we want to do. Um, but when we surrender and submit our will to his will, we allow him to lead and guide us to the perfect plan and purpose that he has for our life. But when we don't, we follow after our own lust, our own flesh, the things that we want to do. And unfortunately, it can cost us our life or consume us. But another thing that the Lord gave me, he, he said, it, it's not just people. I, I've delivered people from attitudes, from uh, perspectives, from I ideologies, from ideals. And they want to turn back to their old way of thinking, their old perspectives, their old ideologies, their old um, attitudes. And those things consume them. So I just wanted to come on and share that. I thought that was like so significant that, you know, it, it, we read that scripture and we kind of go over it real fast. Like, oh, she turned into a pillar of salt. But the biggest thing is she looked back at what was behind her. Sodom and Gomorrah was behind her. That that And we do that in our life. It's like God deliver us from sinful situations. So, Sodom and Gomorrah was full of sin and she was looking back to sin and God told her it would consume us. God has delivered us from situations, from relationships, from friendships, from jobs, from sinful things that will harm our lives. And all too often we want to look back. We want to go back. We all have that that one ex that we just, man, I wonder if maybe God, if he, and God has said, no, that's not it. That's not what I have for you. I have something great and mighty, something good for you. Something that's going to mean you good. Someone is going to love you like Christ loved the church. And we want to go back to that familiar place to what, what we know God is going, I delivered you from that attitude of that, that, smart mouth that that evil mean attitude or you want to go back to being that old person that you once were it's okay ain't nobody punking you because you you turn the other cheek ain't nobody punking you because you're choosing to walk in love but it is your character it's not about them it's about god building character in you so if god has delivers you from any situation if it's a relationship if it's an attitude if it's a perspective keep walking keep marching keep doing what god has told you to do less that thing that god delivers you from consume you and overtake your life and you look back and you like man i could have would have should have be blessed people Remember to read uh, Genesis 19. I will go back to 18 and just see the whole story and read it through those lenses of your situation. Read it from the lenses of whatever God has delivered you from while you're reading and see if you get a new perspective or a new ideal or if Holy Spirit speaks to you while you're reading. I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a great day, people. Bye.